Happening today, the American Family Insurance Golf Championship officially kicks off. We'll tell you everything you need to know about the event. Plus, a historic indictment of former President Trump will break down the federal charges he's now facing. This is News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for tuning in on this Friday afternoon. The American Family Insurance Championship has officially begun. Opening ceremonies and the first tee time took place just before 9 this morning. This is the tournament's seventh year at University Ridge Golf Course, and about 900 volunteers from 15 states are helping to make it possible. Since 2016, the event has raised nearly $15 million for charity. Spectators can take advantage of free shuttle services. Today, you can park at Black Hawk Church off of Mineral Point Road to get a ride to the grounds. Then Saturday and Sunday, the free parking and shuttle shifts to Epic. The service runs from 7.30 in the morning until a half an hour after play ends. The AmFam concert will be held tonight down at Breeze Stevens Field on Madison's Near East Side. This year, it features a country favorite. Take a listen. It's Tyler Hubbard of the band Florida Georgia Line. Doors open at 6 o'clock. Tickets are still available. General admission costs $60. This weekend, gates open for the AmFam Championship at 8 a.m. The trophy ceremony will be held Sunday just after 4. Tickets are still available for the event. And you can find all of this information, including a full rundown of weekend events and links to buy tickets on channel3000.com and our News 3 Now news app. Let's head out to the weather patio. Meteorologist Jacob Monsano has a look at our first warm forecast. Nice day to golf out there. Yeah, temperatures are just about perfect right now. We're seeing pretty much completely clear skies and the temperatures are gorgeous. Now looking outside, the current temperature is 77 degrees. We are still seeing a little bit of wildfire smoke, but it's not nearly as bad as portions of the Northeast. Here's a look at the temperatures across the area. Upper 70s for places just to the west. How about 80 degrees up in La Crosse? Some places near the lake are a bit cooler, but otherwise it is very nice across Wisconsin today. And if we look at the afternoon forecast, highs will be right around 80 degrees with mostly sunny skies, but definitely a little bit warmer than yesterday and the the day before, but we are going to see some rain over the weekend that will cool things off. But first, I want to talk about some of the air quality alerts. We aren't seeing any across Wisconsin, but obviously there are plenty across other portions of the United States, especially the Northeast. They are dealing with historically bad air quality out there. And although we aren't going to nearly get that bad, we could see some more smoke roll into our area over the weekend. Now, it looks like it will move in from the north as a cold front pushes through, which will also bring the rainfall. But I'm hoping because the winds are going to be pretty breezy Sunday and Monday that the smoke will clear out of our area rather quickly. So we'll, we'll have to see how things develop. Here's a look at tonight's forecast. We'll see a low of around 60 degrees. This will roughly be the temperature early morning tomorrow, maybe a bit warmer during tea time. So tomorrow morning will be a lot warmer than this morning where temperatures were in the 40s around sunrise. As I mentioned, we do have the chance for some rain over the weekend. I'll talk more in detail about that coming up later in the show, but it looks like it will avoid the, the main golf hours. I'll talk about it a little bit later. Okay, we'll check back. Thank you, Jacob. In Beaver Dam, a man was forced to climb onto the roof of his home to escape a fire. Firefighters arrived in the 200 block of East 3rd Street just before 7.30 last night for a report of a porch fire. Flames were coming from both sides of the home. One person was able to make it out safely, but the other had to climb to the roof to escape. A neighbor was able to help him down. The cause of that fire is still under investigation. New at noon, Representative Mike Gallagher has announced that he is running for re-election and will not challenge incumbent Senator Tammy Baldwin for her Senate seat next year. Gallagher represents Wisconsin's 8th Congressional District and serves as the chair of the House Committee on the Chinese Communist Party. In a statement, Gallagher said he has a rare opportunity to, quote, help restore American strength, prevent war in the Pacific, and defend our basic freedoms from communist aggression. Former President Trump has been indicted again. This time he's accused of mishandling classified documents, obstruction and other crimes. Natalie Brandt has the details. Donald Trump has been called to appear in a Miami court Tuesday, becoming the first former U.S. president to face federal charges in connection to his alleged mishandling of classified documents. I'm an innocent man. I did nothing wrong. Trump was the first to reveal the indictment on social media Thursday night, blaming Democrats for what he's calling the box hoax. They figured the way they're going to stop us is by using what's called warfare. 
And that's what it is. This is warfare for the law. Trump's attorney says the seven counts include unlawful retention of national defense information, obstruction, conspiracy, and false statements. A special counsel appointed by the Justice Department has been investigating Trump's alleged mishandling of documents marked classified, as well as the events surrounding the January 6th Capitol attack. The new criminal charges stem from a 15-month effort by the federal government to retrieve records Trump had at his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida. After issuing a subpoena to turn over government records last year, the FBI searched the property. In total, more than 300 records, including some marked top secret, have been recovered. The former president claims he declassified the sensitive materials when he left the White House. I took the documents I'm allowed to. The worst evidence against Donald Trump is once again from Donald Trump. Yeah. He says he retained these documents. Yeah. And by the way, they don't have to be classified. So the fact that he wants to say he declassified them is irrelevant. A key piece of evidence is expected to be an audio recording. CBS News confirmed investigators obtained a recording in which the former president acknowledges he held on to a sensitive Pentagon memo about Iran after leaving the White House. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. And on social media, Trump has accused the Biden administration of weaponizing the Justice Department. President Biden says the department acts independently. For the first time ever, professional cornhole is headed to Milwaukee. Johnsonville and Summerfest are hosting the American Cornhole League. It's also going to be broadcast on ESPN2. The tournament will be held at Summerfest on July 7th. But before you practice the next four weeks to get ready, professionals say that even if you can beat everyone at the tailgate, professional bags is on a whole different level. The Madison Jazz Festival has begun bringing jazz music to the greater Madison area now through next Sunday. The festival includes 11 exciting days of jazz concerts, classes, talks and more throughout the city and online. You'll need tickets for some events, but others are free to enjoy. The festival helps promote lo local and national jazz musicians and celebrates jazz and black American music. And so this is a great way for people to, who have not experienced the live uh, jazz scene here in Madison to get a taste of um, not only the different venues, um, to learn about some of the different nonprofit organizations that support jazz, and hopefully to, you know, um, learn about new artists. For a schedule of performances and events, visit art-lit-lab.com. There's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. Jobless claims are on the rise. And a closer look at Pizza Hut's latest creation. Details coming up in the Money Watch Report. You're watching News 3 Now at Noon. At Gruber Law Offices, you pay us nothing until we win your case. It costs you nothing up front to get the results and compensation you deserve. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. What if in 1968 the mayor said nope to Summerfest? How many bands would you have never seen? Would hitting 12 stages in one day even be possible? Thankfully, 55 years ago, Summerfest was a yes. Don't miss Milwaukee Summerfest, presented by American Family Insurance. Looks like they finally got rid of that trip hazard. They pump it full of mud? It ain't mud, Jack. Where are the patched holes? Where's the splashed mud? It ain't mud, Jack. Concrete lifting technologies can quickly raise and level any concrete surface using cutting-edge foam technology made in Wisconsin. Fast and accurate and eco-friendly. How did those guys do it? Where are the holes? Where's the mud? It ain't mud, Jack. Dot com. To everyone who appreciates a handcrafted meal, are you ready for a taste of Wisconsin? Butterburgers cooked fresh, just the way you like. The way you love. Definitely love. And our thick and creamy frozen custard, we make it for you all throughout the day. All day. All day, every day. Put it in the extra work and not cutting corners. It takes a little longer. But it's how we've always done it at Culver's. Because making your meal with care shows how much we care. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. Here's your parachute. Packed it myself. Certain it's okay? Mm-hmm. Are you foreign print certain? 
Certainty matters. Like the certainty of congratulating coworkers or saying thank you for being a customer with promotional products from 4imprint. Our expert team is dedicated to making your satisfaction a certainty. Talk to myself. Land the perfect products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Experience Madison like an insider with tips and tricks from Madison Magazine. Explore secret hangouts and scenic gems. Uncover hidden history. Score off-menu favorites and more. Madison Magazine, online and on newsstands now. Want to know right now what the weather will be like tomorrow? Download the First Warn Weather app and you'll get my customized forecast for tonight and tomorrow. The First Warn Weather app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. No one plans to be in an accident, but having the proper insurance coverage can help if one happens. Protect yourself before an accident so we can protect you after. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. According to the latest Labor Department data, U.S. jobless claims jumped last week to their highest level in a year and a half. States saw an increase of 28,000 applications for unemployment benefits in the week ending June 3rd, bringing the total to 261,000. The biggest rises in claims were in Ohio, Minnesota and California. General Motors is now the second company to reach a deal with Tesla for access to 12,000 of its electric vehicle chargers in North America. GM plans to adopt Tesla's charging plug as standard for its EVs in future production, a move that's similar to the deal Ford and Tesla announced last month. Some industry experts are questioning if these deals could squeeze out EV charging competitors who are also racing to rival Tesla's vast network. And this latest Pizza Hut creation includes a twist of dill. Today, the chain is releasing its pickle pizza, which also includes buttermilk ranch sauce, cheese, onions, and Nashville hot seasoned crispy chicken on a hand-tossed crust. The pickle pizza is available this weekend only at the Hut's 8th Avenue location in Manhattan, New York. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Chanel Call. Check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrial is down 12 points. The Nasdaq, though, up almost 10. The S&P 500 up almost 3. Our Call for Action volunteers are in the building taking your consumer complaints and taking action on your behalf. Volunteers are here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you can call for action right now at 608-270-2833 or submit a claim anytime at channel3000.com slash call for action. Next at noon, Pam has today's egg prices. Jacob's back with the weekend forecast. And then today on Live at 4, we'll have live reports from the AmFam Insurance Championship Golf Tournament at University Ridge here in Madison. Oh my gosh. Wow. Who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> I am so excited to tell you more about the innovation that is Plexiderm. Now, if you're someone who likes to try home remedies for under eye bags or wrinkles like egg whites or hemorrhoid cream, I have good news for you. Plexiderm is actually formulated for your skin and it's clinically studied to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles in just 10 minutes and those results last up to 10 hours. I thought I might see a little difference, but to see that big of a difference, I have so many dark circles, I have the puffiness, I have the lines, like it's amazing. The first time I saw Plexiderm work, I was amazed. When you look at these before and after videos, it's hard to believe that this is just a serum that you apply yourself at home to get rid of the under eye puffiness, the crow's feet, the 11 lines, the deep forehead lines. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. Looks even better. Look at the results that we're seeing here. This person has very pronounced under eye bags. Not much you could do about that before without an invasive treatment. This is just Plexiderm serum applied in small amounts under each one of these eyes. And you can see 10 minutes later, we sent those bags packing for the day. This isn't the first time I've been on TV raving about this product. It's it's amazing. My friends, my family,
family, they can't believe it. They're all calling. There's been creams, there's been lotions, um, concealers. Nothing works like this. And in just a few minutes, it's amazing. Plexiderm is naturally derived from silicates. You'll just place a very small amount on your fingertip because it's so powerful and then you just apply to those areas where you see your signs of aging and then just wait 10 minutes and you will see the results. Right now, you can try Plexiderm for only $14.95. Call the number on your screen or visit PlexidermTrial.com. He's always a good time. Afonso Cordero is here. That photo's really hurting me right now. But... <laughs> then a fun surprise for a principal and his students. You want to start a basketball program for the kids. Yes, I do. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. One mission to end breast cancer. Join us on Saturday, June 10th at 9 a.m. for the Susan G. Komen South Central Wisconsin More Than Pink Walk. Please register today and witness the power you have to change lives. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Let's check in now with Pam Yankee from the Midwest Farm Report. We finally made it. It's Friday. That's right. That's right. We got a lot of things coming up this weekend that we want to try to enjoy as well. And the weather looks like it's going to cooperate. I want to start with the Dane County Breakfast on the Farm. That's going to kick off tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. just south of Madison, south of Verona at the Call Family Farm. Now, Riley Call is one of the family members that's going to be there to greet you. And he is also the president of the Wisconsin Auctioneers Association. Uh, with that being said, he's adding a new element of education to the dairy breakfast tomorrow. He's invited some of his fellow Wisconsin auctioneer members to to be a part of the activities you're going to get a chance to participate in an auction uh, that is both a kind of a cash and carry small items as well as after the dairy breakfast at 11 30 they're going to be able to uh, have a little bit more expanded opportunity there's going to be an online auction that is uh, uh, available to show you how that mechanism works too so kind of a new element and you can only do it if you're president of the wisconsin auctioneers association again starting serving tomorrow morning 7 a.m until 11 30 just outside of uh, verona also remember we've got the lafayette C county dairy breakfast outside of mineral point sauk county is out by spring green we've got uh, sunday the marquette county dairy breakfast uh, in westfield at the fairgrounds and also richland county dairy breakfast wisconsin dairy dot org is uh, the place you want to look for all the details, directions, and money. Uh, let's also talk about another update I've got. Uh, alfalfa weevil is taking care of our second crop, I'm afraid. So get out there and scout your alfalfa fields. Uh, it sounds like it's really bad in northwest Wisconsin where they're also starting to battle armyworm. So again, as this heat persists with dry weather, it's not just the dry weather we worry about. We also have to take an eye on, on uh, insect development as well. So weevil in our alfalfa, armyworm coming into our other fields. Today in Chicago, barrel cheese drops another eight and a quarter cents to 157. 40 pound black cheese down a nickel at 147 and a quarter. Double A butter though, up a penny at 237 a pound. So I'll see everybody out there tomorrow morning uh, at the Call Family Farm. My crew and I should get there starting probably about seven o'clock and then we're on stage at 10 o'clock tomorrow introducing some of the royalty and special guests and 10.30 I'll be on stage to introduce you to the Call Family and all the other folks that are on hand. So I'm looking forward to a good day. Should be a great day and a great breakfast as well. Absolutely. All right, enjoy, Pam. We'll see you Monday. Thanks. Coral reefs are shrinking in the U.S. and around the world. Scientists in the Middle East are racing to try to stop the damage and in some places reverse it. Ian Lee has the story. Turning the tide on damaged reefs is a hands-on job. Scientists repair and revive corals in the waters of the Persian Gulf. But the ray of hope comes with a dark warning. By the end of the century, if we don't rethink the way we built, coral reefs could be ex extinct. Six years ago, the United Arab Emirates lost 70% of its corals when the water hit hot tub temperatures of nearly 100 degrees, which triggered coral bleaching. That's when reefs release the algae that gives corals their color, leaving them vulnerable to disease. Although it did wipe out a good portion of our corals, it also proved that the corals that we have are actually resilient. And those are the ones divers are searching for, to give them some TLC in a coral reef nursery. A place with clear water, strong currents, and just the right amount of sunlight to help them grow strong again. We try to grow them from very small fragments up to now some of them have reached the size of my fist. That's when conservationists move them back to their original reefs to keep thriving. 
Dubai is aiming to grow 1 billion artificial corals along a strip of beaches by 2040, a floating, living lab to help marine life prosper. Ian Lee, CBS News. And bleaching events are happening more frequently around the world as waters warm due to climate change caused by the burning of oil, coal and gas that emits heat trapping gases into the atmosphere. Jacob's back now with the complete weekend forecast. Lots going on around the area. Yeah, temperatures are very nice today, but we are going to see some rain over the weekend and it will really cool things off, especially Sunday and Monday. Highs may only be in the 60s by then. So let me get to that in just a moment. But if we look at the tonight's temperatures, they're going to be a lot milder than what we saw last night and this morning. Lows will be around 60 degrees for Madison. This morning we actually saw low temperatures in the 40s, even 30s for some locations. So tomorrow morning is going to be a lot warmer and during the day tomorrow. It's going to be similar to today in terms of temperatures, but we are going to see some showers and storms. But for the most part during the day, it likely will stay to the north. But during the overnight hours, that's when the heaviest rain will likely move in. So right now we are seeing very dry conditions, very clear skies across pretty much all of Wisconsin. And for the most part, that's going to continue throughout today. Maybe a few clouds here and there, but otherwise mostly sunny. During the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning, we are going to see more clouds develop, but Dane County likely won't see a ton of rainfall. We could see a passing shower or storm, but the heaviest rain during the day tomorrow will stay to the north of Dane County. This will continue throughout the afternoon. Then we'll get a little bit of a break during the evening right around sunset, and then later in the night we'll see more rain develop, and this rain will be a bit more widespread, extending across all of southern Wisconsin, and we could see maybe around a half inch to a full inch of rainfall, depending on just how heavy some of these bands are of rains get, but most of it will actually be clear by sunrise. The further south you're located, the later you will see the rain. But by the late morning, right around when the tournament's going to start Sunday, it looks like it will be mostly dry, especially by the afternoon. We can't rule out a chance of a shower during the golf round on Sunday. Now here's a look at the precipitation around a quarter of an inch to a half inch of rainfall is expected. Not a ton. I'm hoping we get a little bit more considering our current drought conditions because we're actually under a moderate drought. Now the winds are also going to be pretty bad, especially as we get into Saturday night and Sunday. As that cold front moves through, we could see wind gusts up to, up to 25 to 30 miles per hour. Not enough to warrant a wind advisory, but temperatures are going to drop significantly with the cold front. So Sunday, with the breezy weather and temperatures only getting into the mid 60s, it's going to feel like March and April, and that's going to continue for Monday as well. But the good news for Sunday is that although we will be cloudy throughout much of the day, it looks like the rain will clear out rather early. Now looking at the seven day forecast, Monday is going to be similar with high temperatures in the 60s and more breezy weather. 70s for Tuesday, but then we'll rise right back into the mid 80s by the middle and end of next week. And really after Monday, there's not a huge chance of rain, a small chance of storms on Friday, but otherwise we're not going to see a ton of rainfall. So unfortunately our drought conditions may continue unless we get a ton of rainfall Saturday night into Sunday. But my guess is we likely will see less than an inch. But the good news with the rainfall is, you know, with the golf tournament happening, it looks like the heaviest rain will be during the overnight hours, not when uh, the golfers are out on the course. But we can't rule out a passing shower or storm during the afternoon tomorrow. All right, we'll keep an eye on things. Thank you, Jacob. There's more to come on News for Now at noon. Up next, we'll see what Howard's working on in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. If you love lots of flavor and easy cleanup, then one pot cooking is just what you need. Stick around, and I'll share my new favorite. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. It's a brand new day. Don't let junk get in the way. All you have to do is point. <laughs> and you'll be back to your old self again. <laughs> yeah! Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. Fry Construction is celebrating 28 years with a big, big, big anniversary sale. Join us to save 28%. That's right, 28%. Many of your neighbors already know how we strive to meet and exceed expectations with each and every project. That's why they voted us best roofer three years in a row. Experience the best of Madison for yourself with Fry Construction. Act now for 28% off gutters or insulation with any full roofing project. Schedule your free consultation today at fryconstruction.com. 
Attention, Wisconsin veterans. I'm Tony Evers, the governor of Wisconsin. If you are a veteran struggling to pay for rent, utilities, or other life-sustaining services, I want you to know that the Veterans Rental Assistance Program is here to help. The Veterans Rental Assistance Program was created by and for people living in Wisconsin with benefit approvals being issued to veterans in just days, not months. You have already made a most noble sacrifice. You shouldn't have to continue doing so. We are here to support you. With pride in the way, it's never easy to ask for assistance, but rest assured, we are here to help. The VRAP team is standing by to help. So call 833-WIS-VRAP or visit VRAPWI.com. You've always been there for us. We want you to know that we're here for you. On behalf of the state of Wisconsin, thank you. Expand your outdoor living space and get 11% off all concrete landscape blocks from Menards. Check out our great selection of patio blocks. Get a 12 by 12 patio block for just $129 after rebate. Finish your project with sealants you can rely on. For a waterproof and weatherproof seal for windows, doors, and more, choose advanced clear window and door silicone sealant. Get a 10-ounce tube for just $6.99 after 11% rebate at Menards. Save big money at Menards. It's a brand new day. Don't let junk get in the way. All you have to do is point. <laughs> and you'll be back to your old self again. <laughs> yeah! Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. When we asked what kind of recipes you'd like to see more of, hearty one-pot dinners were a hands-down favorite. So guess what? This year, you'll be seeing lots and lots of dinners that are easy, comforting, and made in one pot. Today, we're starting with a braised Mediterranean pot roast that is to die for. We start by heating some oil in a Dutch oven or soup pot. Once the oil's hot, we sear a chuck roast on all sides. Then we add a couple of chopped onions, some celery, and a load of garlic. After we saute this for a few minutes, we add some Italian-style stewed tomatoes, a good amount of red wine, a handful of chopped parsley, and a bunch of spices. Once it comes to a boil, we lower the heat and let it cook covered until the meat is fork tender. Now this takes a bit of time. Even though the stovetop does all the work, you may want to make this over the weekend and simply warm it up after a long, hard day. When I first tried this, it was love at first bite. The flavor was rich, yet not overpowering, and the meat practically melted in my mouth. To get the recipe for our braised Mediterranean beef, all you have to do is visit our website. I'm Howard of the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a one-pot easy way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. And Jacob has one final look at the forecast. Yeah, over the weekend, we are going to continue to see temperatures be warm, at least for Saturday, and then the rain will move in overnight Saturday and bring along the cold front. 60s for Sunday, and we'll see some breezy weather, so it feels like temperatures will actually probably be in the 50s. It's going to be pretty chilly if you plan on attending the golf tournament on Sunday. Definitely bring a light jacket. Monday is going to be similar, although a bit warmer. There is another chance of rain on Monday. And then temperatures will slowly warm up after Monday into the mid-80s already by Wednesday. But as a whole, we are looking to be fairly dry for much of next week after Monday. There's a small chance of some storms on Friday, but otherwise we're not expected to see any long term rainfall that will put an end to the drought. Hopefully we see a good amount of rainfall tomorrow night, but it likely will be less than an inch. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you back here at four o'clock. In the meantime, have a great afternoon.